With a happy cry, Blue Tit flew off in search of moss. She flew over the head of Farmer Furrow as he came into the field. He stopped and stared at Scarecrow. We can't have you looking like that, my lad, with your coat undone. And what's happened to the straw I gave you for hair? Farmer Furrow went to the farmhouse and found a length of twine and his wife's old hat. Farmer Furrow tied Scarecrow's coat with the twine and put the hat on his head. All that hat needs now is a feather. Uh, when I get home, I shall tell Teddy all about... Oh, but which way is home? Hmm, I think I came past this tree. Oh, was it that one? Oh, oh I, don't, I don't know. And it's getting dark. <laughs> um, I'm lost. Oh, I just want to go home. This was the moment he'd been waiting for. As the winter fairy flew overhead sprinkling her magic flying dust, little reindeer heard happy reindeer giggling, sneezy reindeer sniffling, jolly reindeer humming, then suddenly little reindeer's hooves started to tingle. He felt it spread all the way up his legs into his tummy. <laughs> this, this tickles, he giggled. It takes a while. So, so you, you better get used to it. Just just go with it, whispered Happy Reindeer. All Little Reindeer had to do now was wait for Santa to pull on the reins. 